Hi friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Felitza. I'm so happy y'all are here because today we have a haul of bookish goodies and there's a lot and I'm so excited to share it with you all. So let's get started. <laughs> So we're repping Sarah J. Moss, Azrael. He is my number one bat boy. I hope some of you can relate with that. I just had to, I just had to add that. That's just me adding that. Let, I digress. The amount of books surrounding me shows I clearly have a problem. And we, we're not gonna talk about it. I'm sure some of you can relate, but you know, it's okay. It's okay. I feel like it's a good problem to have. I do want to share that a lot of these books are pre-orders and they did come from bookish boxes. Um, and that's been over a span of a couple of months, but I did save them for this video. I thought you all would appreciate it more. I know y'all will enjoy this haul more than my husband, so that is making me even more excited about this. He is very supportive of my love for books, but I think he doesn't want to hear about all of them. So I appreciate that you all are here. I have this, this little new gadget thing. I found it from TikTok. TikTok is dangerous because you just find things you don't really need, but this is so adorable. It's literally a cloud that opens boxes. I just think that's, I think that's so cool. Literally, look, cloud, and it has a little knife. Okay, okay. All right, so this, let me preference, a lot of these are, it's a mixture of bookish items. There are bookish signs, there are books, I think there's some clothing in here. And also, a lot of these items are from shops that I truly do adore and I love them as, as creators, they're, they're amazing artists. So I, this is to, a shout out to them as well. Um, so let's just jump right into it. Hopefully I don't, I don't cut myself or anything like that. Okay. Oh dear. Oh, am I opening it the wrong way? Oh my gosh, I am. I'm opening it the wrong way. Just, oh dear. So I just love this. This is from Fire Drake Artistry and I just love the bookmark that she puts in it. It says, to those who read by flashlight, see dragon in the clouds who feel most alive in worlds that never were. No magic is real. Who dream? This is for you. And I just think that's so awesome and precious that she puts that in there. We all need more bookmarks, you know. It's really useful. Let's see. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Look how stunning that is. I hope it's clear. She is amazing. Tracy, the owner of Fire Drake Artistry, is literally phenomenal. I love all her art. I love it. She is amazing. Okay. Very loot. Gotta love it. I'm 100% positive that these are like biodegradable and I can appreciate that. It's just the stuffing, but you know, I, I care about the planet. So I think that's just awesome that they put those in there. Okay, so let's see what we have. Seven Faceless Saints. Look at that cover. That is stunning, y'all. The gold foil, did I just say gold folding, foiling? Y'all look at that, that foiling. Look at the foiling. Look how stunning that is. Oh my God. Look at that. Look at those sprayed edges. That, that's like chef's kiss, 100%. That is amazing. Oh my gosh, it goes all the way around. I love it. That's beautiful. Fairy loot. I mean, look. Look at that. Fairy loot. That is beautiful. So beautiful. I know this is a haul, so I feel like I have a lot here. And if I read every, you know, description, it's going to take too long. And I, and I don't want to do that to y'all. 
But if that's something you would want in my content and you would want me to literally read, you know, the synopsis of the story, I, I totally will. Just let me know. But look at that. Just again, the foiling. The foiling. It's just, it's beautiful. I Sprayed edges and foiling. That's just my heart. All right, let's see what we have. <clears throat> so, oh, that was loud. I'm sorry. Okay. So, House of Earth and Blood by Sarah J. Moss. This is her new covers. Yes. Yes, I did. I bought her paperback versions of her book, and I own the hard copies. But look at this cover. Look at the cover. I had to do it. I had to. The, the covers for the paperbacks that she just came out, so stunning. Clearly, this is beautiful. And just to say, no, there's nothing I can say. I clearly have a problem that I bought the same book that I own in both books in the paper pack editions because of the cover. So please, please don't judge me. But they're stunning and I love them. I will, I will cherish them. And don't tell my husband. Yes, that's all I can say. Okay, on to the next. Oh dear. Okay. I have to appreciate, oh, oh my God. I appreciate that Waterstone literally put the little tab that makes this so much easier to tear. Cause me with sharp, sharp objects, not always good. I end up cutting myself somehow. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay. So I was really, really excited about this. I've heard great things. I'm so excited because it is the new book by Emily Henry and it is Happy Place. And I did get the Waterstone exclusive edition. So I do have it to wear. It has the sprayed edges and I really hope that it's as good as everybody is saying it is. And I love Emily Henry. So I'm really, really excited about this. But again, y'all, again. The sprayed edges, it gets me every time. Okay. On to the next one. Oh, 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 this one's not easy. Okay, so Waterstone with that box kind of, it wasn't as easy or it could have just been me. It was most likely just me. But this is Five Survive by Holly Jackson. I am so excited about this. I've just started getting into like murder mysteries and things like that. This one sounded good and I, I hope it is and I'm not let down, but this is the Waterstone exclusive edition and look at that. Like, beautiful. This is just absolutely beautiful. I don't know how they do this, but it's amazing and it's stunning and I just love it all the way around. I love the cover and then uh, is it signed? It's signed. It's signed, y'all. I like my heart is so full right now. This this stuff just makes me so happy. And it's just it's stunning. It's just an absolutely stunning book. And I'm hoping it's really, really good. And if it's not, its beauty will just grace my shelves. That's okay. And that's okay. So let's see what we have here. So, these two books are by J.L. Vampa. So we have The Autumn of the Grimoire and we have Winter of the Wicked. Look at these covers. I'm so excited. I hear this is a really good series as well. I feel like, should I, should I read the little blurb? Should I? I feel like I wanna read the blurb for this one. I'll read the blurb for this one. So a mysterious grimoire, a, ma a marriage full of dark secrets, a history sculpted by a quartet of sister witches. For 300 years, Sister Autumn has incited wars, burnt villages, killed kings, and released plagues at the bidding of the grimoire. 
Meanwhile, her sister Winter, Sister Spring, and Sister Summer have brought forth only peace. When an order from, from the Grimoire sends Agatha to the Kingdom of, Mer of Merville, she already anticipates the worst. Unless she wants to face the wrath of the goddess, Agatha must keep her head down and do as she's commanded. But when the Grimoire orders her to marry a pompous prince and play the role of a peasant accepted by vicious aristocrats, she finds herself at the center of a war between the classes and age-old prophecy. Within the court, many players harbor dark secrets, including her new husband. With her newfound influence, Agatha joins forces with the city's black listed in order to blur the lines between the common man and the elite, unravel the mysteries in her marriage, and decide once and for all if she will defy the grimoire and face the brutal consequences. As secrets unfold, will Agatha continue to slay on behalf of the grimoire or forge an uncharted history with her unlikely allies? Sounds so good. Sounds so good, right up my alley. I'm super, super excited about this. JL Vampa also has an amazing store and it's called Wicked Whimsy. And I love it. She's amazing. I love her shop. I frequent there often. My husband knows he's not too thrilled, but amazing, just amazing. And if her books are as amazing as her shop is and the the things that she puts in her shop, we know that these are going to be so good. So good. And I'm super, super excited to read them. On to the next one. Another fairy loop. Oh. Oh, these kernels are getting everywhere. Okay. Silver in the bone. Look at that, y'all. Again. Again. It has some foiling. They're killing it with the foiling. Not even just the foiling, yet again, look at that. Look at that. That is amazing. Look at that. It is, it's beautiful. It is beautiful. So, so cool. I, they're always on top of that. They. Every time I get a book from Fairy Loot and they have the stencil or the sprayed edges, they're absolutely stunning. They never disappoint. And look at the inside artwork. I'm sure they have artwork in the back as well for consistency. Yep, yep, look at that, look at that. And let's see, oh my gosh, look at that on the hard cover that is amazing that is absolutely amazing look at that so you can literally take the cover off and just have it just like this fairy loot always outdoing themselves i just it's amazing it's amazing to me let's move along oh let's do that okay so I'm super excited about this. So this is from Book Babes Designs. If you don't know, oh my gosh, look them up on Instagram, Book Babe Designs. Everything that they create is amazing. I'm so excited, I'm sorry. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, it turned out so nice. Look, oh my gosh. I'm so happy and I get a medium because I like the oversized look and this is comfort color so we all know that comfort colors run really really big and so this is absolutely perfect and I'm so excited. It is, oh, it is perfect. Readers for Life Societies and Afterlife. So nice. I swear that is like one of my fears is like I'm never going to read all the books that I want to read like because my TBR is forever growing I think there's like 1,250 books on there and that is my biggest fear that I will never be able to read all the books on my TBR or any of the new books that come out before I die like that is actually a legit fear for me people might think that's weird and stupid but it is a fear 
I, I feel like I will truly be missing out on so many good books. And this shirt is so amazing. So amazing. Oh, oh, it's perfect for me. And I love that she always adds one of her little cards and it's like an art print that she has done. She is absolutely amazing. I love her shop. Like I said, please, here it is. The Instagram right there. Please go and check her out. She is amazing. I love her. She, absolutely love her. And we have another one. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yes. Raising Hell, reading books. We all know. We can relate. Well, maybe not all, but me. Me. I, I feel like I can relate. This is so cool. With some nice shorts, my little kids. Con my little Converse too. So cute. It would be so cute. Look at that. Look at that. If you don't know her and you've never ever gone and checked out her shop, please, please go check out her shop. Again, like I said, this is this is not sponsored. I just really, really love her shop. She also included this adorable sticker. Can you see it? I hope it's focusing. There it is. This adorable sticker. She included that for free. That's going on my Kindle. That is so cute. All right, we have another, oh my hair. It's getting a little crazy. It's getting a little crazy. Sorry. Okay. Ignore. Ignore. All right. Open boxes is a lot of work. Okay. Oh my gosh. I'm super excited. I was waiting for this one so patiently. I was waiting on this one. Oh my gosh. One for my enemy. Oh my goodness. How stunning is that cover by Olivia Blake? So this is also a Waterstones exclusive edition. And yes, for everyone that is like me out there that is concerned that that is right there, it is a sticker. Waterstones would never, ever do that to us. It is a sticker just saying that it's their exclusive edition, but I do take them off and it comes off real, real easy. So if you ever did want to consider getting one of their exclusive editions it comes off easy it's not going to be on your book and it's it and then you just have your pretty cover it's not like barnes and noble when they have literally an exclusive edition and it's like on there and it can't come off that freaks me out or target target started doing that that i'm okay i digress i'm gonna go down a rabbit hole i digress but it it annoys me that is one of my bookish pet peeves but we have one for my enemy, and I do want to say again, Waterstones is even up on their game with the stencil and sprayed edges. Look at that. Look at that. Like, what? It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Like, look how pretty that is. Ugh. Uh, oh. They're up there. They are up there. With fairy loot, look at that. I swear, there are so many people out there that are so, so talented. And I, I'm, I am so grateful that they share their talent with us. Just even if it's, if it's art or the fact that they, there are people out there that can write these books and get to transport us to a different world when maybe life is not going so great. I just think that's amazing and just so beautiful. And I'm so grateful for all of these authors, you know, Olivia Blake, everyone, all of the authors behind me that they have literally sat down and written these books to share with us so we could have an escape. I just, wow, sorry. I just think that's beautiful. Oh, wow, I'm getting emotional. <laughs> and again, you're up there with fairy loot. Amazing. Okay, on to the next one. All right, we have another Waterstones. <laughs> we see a pattern here. I love Waterstones. I live in, you know, the United States, but I love Waterstones. I do, I have to say, I do appreciate Barnes and Noble's kind of starting to get special editions too and starting doing the spray edges. I don't know where that came from. They probably are watching Waterstone like a hawk because, you know, they're like, we need to up our game. 
but I don't know. I don't know. I have a special place for Waterstone. And if you all know, TJ Kloon in the lives of puppets. I have not, oh, this is embarrassing. I have not read his other books yet. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure, like his recent books. I hear that the house on the, oh, I can't even say it. The, what is it? The house in the Rulian Sea? Oh my gosh, am I saying that wrong? I don't know. Oh my gosh, as I'm literally sitting here talking about this and about to like, you know, show you the Waterstone edition and their beautiful sprayed edges and how stunning they are. I'm looking down at the floor and guess what, what do I see from my birthday book shopping spree? What do you think I see? Just, just hold on. Everybody guess. Everybody guess. I have a problem. I forgot. I pre-ordered this and now I have another. So there's that. There's that. And it's an exclusive edition. And I'm trying to understand why it's an exclusive edition. Maybe it's because of that on the inside. What is wrong with me? My, my husband's gonna see this and he's literally probably gonna ask me the same thing. What's wrong with me? Um, uh, judgment free zone, judgment free zone. And I will be returning the Barnes and Noble one because I clearly wasn't thinking. I'm really, really excited to read all the TJ Clunes. I'm thinking that I might do like a 48 hour readathon for that. Um, of me reading all of them. I am um, a new mom, so I don't really, I have to read later in the evening. So a 48 hour readathon probably would be best, but I want to read all of his books if I can in that 48 hour readathon. That would be amazing. If you guys would be interested in me vlogging that or, you know, showing footage of that in one of my videos, please let me know because I, I would gladly do so. I think it would be really, really cool. And I'm really excited because I hear TJ Klune is an amazing author and I, I need to read all of the books, all of them. But, and it's signed, y'all. It is signed by TJ Klune. Look at, I, I have a signed edition of TJ Klune's books. I will be probably doing that 48 hour readathon a lot sooner because wow, that is so cool. The book is beautiful. Why it's taking me so long. I'm definitely gonna do that sooner than later. But again, Waterstones y'all, it's where it's at. It's where it's at. On to the next one. Let's see what we got. I've been waiting for this and you know I've been waiting for this because it's been in my home and it's been waiting for me to show you guys but oh my gosh oh my gosh Carmela Carmela so the reason that I got this is because I hear that Lexi literally loved this and she's another youtuber that I love and she kind of inspired me to do this and be brave and, you know, maybe step out of my comfort zone and do something that I wouldn't normally do because I wanted to share my love for books and I didn't have the confidence to do so. And I feel like she gave me the courage and, and I am so excited because right now I'm really, really happy that I'm doing this and I'm actually sharing this with you all. So yes, so I do want to read this and I'm super, super excited about it. And this is the Waterstones edition. So if you try to get it from the United States, it will look a little bit different than this, but of course, I had to get it y'all because of the foiling, just because of the, fo the foiling and it's just so cute and it's perfect and I'm really, really excited to read this in October. I am super excited again, y'all. Look at that, look at that. So it's Carmilla by Shredrin Leaf Finu. Wow, I'm gonna always be bad about author's names and that's really sad because my name is actually difficult and I, I don't, I hate messing up people's names because I know how it feels. So 
I'm gonna, I will get better about it. I'm gonna get better about it. All right, so. Oh no, where is it? Where's the, where's my cloud? Oh my goodness, where's my cloud? Oh, found it. Found it, it found it. It's okay. All right. Oh my gosh, y'all, I'm so excited. Okay, I do own this book. So this was a purposeful purchase and I loved the book so much that I needed to have the Fairy Loot exclusive edition of it. I needed it. Just going to grace my shelves just because it was just that amazing. I will never read this physical copy because like I said, I read it, but I will most likely be rereading it in October. This was by Ashley Poston and we all know the Dead Romantics. It was a five stars for me and to maybe for some they it might not be but for me it was five stars. It made me feel emotions and whenever a book has that ability to do that and and ha and make me feel something it's a it's five stars. It's five stars. And again look at those stenciled and sprayed edges. I just love it and it, it's just beautiful. It's beautiful and it's signed by the author and I, I had to have it. I had to have it. It, it. This, The Dead Romantics was absolutely amazing. If you have not read it, please pick it up. It's a, such a good October read or fall read in general. I think you will love it. And the fact that I love it so much, I am going to read the synopsis just because I want you guys to read it if you have it. So, Florence Day is a ghostwriter with one big problem. She's supposed to be penning swoon-worthy novels for a famous romance author, but after a bad breakup, Florence no longer believes in love. And when her strict but undeniably hot new editor, Benji, won't give her an extension on her book deadline, Florence prepares to kiss her career goodbye. Although, when tragedy strikes and Florence has to head home, the last thing she expects to see is a ghost at her front door. Not just any ghost, however, but the stern form of her still very hot, yet now unquestionably dead, new editor. As sparks start to fly between them, Florence tells herself she can't be falling in love with a ghost even an infuriatingly sexy one. But can Benji help Florence to realize love isn't dead after all? Y'all, I'm so sorry. So good, so good. Please, please read this. If you pick it up today, tomorrow, but please read this, it's so good, so good. If you do end up reading it and you love it as much as I do, please let me know, cause that would make me really, really happy. So please read it. Next. Okay, I'm not, I'm not sure what this is. Actually, I can't remember what a lot of this is. So there's that. <gasps> okay, I'm super, 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 super stoked about this. So, a special edition of Pride and Prejudice with sprayed edges. Look how stunning that is. So, this book was created, well, this not the story, but this type of edition of this book was created by Nerdy Inc. And you can find them on Instagram. And they're doing basically special editions of all of the classics. And I clearly have a book buying problem. So, I, my husband was like, you can like, only get one. So she does have like Emma, I believe a special edition of Emma, but I did not buy it and I really wanted to buy it. But it's okay. It's okay. Cause we have the special edition of Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen and it is absolutely stunning. And it comes with a little note. Oh my gosh. It says Miss Elizabeth Bennett. And I am so, oh gosh, my hair. I'm super excited to see what this is about. Should I see what this is about now or? Oh no, it's, it's like a, it's like a long, like handwritten it. So we're not going to do that, but that is so cute that this came with it. How cute. And look that font, it just looks so authentic. Like literally 
Miss Elizabeth. It's the note Darcy writes to Elizabeth. Oh my gosh, I just know that's what it is and I am so excited. I am so excited for this. That is such a cute touch. Nerdy ink, I swear, they're amazing. Oh my God, look at that. Look at that, that is so cool. Oh my gosh, y'all. Oh my gosh, look at that. Oh my gosh, Nerdy Ink. They have outdone themselves. They On to the next one. Oh my gosh, okay. So I know that this is gonna be like, everybody's gonna have mixed opinions about this and I don't have any opinions of my own yet about this author, but it's Colleen Hoover and it ends with us. And this is the special edition from Waterstones. I have never read anything from Colleen Hoover. I wanted to do a vlog for that as well, or like a readathon type thing. It would end up being a vlog probably, if you guys are interested in seeing that, like I said. Um, but it's gonna be me reading a couple of her like more notable books that everyone's obsessed with, because I wanna get my own opinion about it. Um, but look at that, you know, Waterstones yet again, and the stenciled edges. It, it's so pretty. And I was like, if I'm gonna buy this book, why not buy the exclusive edition? So I'm super, super happy with this purchase. I hope that it's a good read and I'm not disappointed. So if anyone has read this or has ever read Colleen Hoover, you know, in the comments below, please share your thoughts. If I, you, you think I should jump on it sooner than later, am I missing out? Because I'm totally up for anyone's suggestions. So on to the next. Oh, 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 the struggle's real. We're struggling. We're, we're struggling. Okay. Whew, the hair, the hair. Okay, okay, so I've been waiting for this too. And it is Death of a Bookseller. And this, again, is Waterstones edition. It's not an exclusive edition, it's just their edition. So I guess in a sense to the United States that this is an exclusive edition because ours doesn't look like this. But I just loved how theirs looked. So I preferred to purchase theirs. And I like, I don't know, I really like Waterstone, so like I like supporting them as well. I like Barnes & Noble too. So I support both equally. It's just like for certain books, I prefer the UK edition. But Death of a Bookseller, I hope it's good. It sounded good. And the cover was just like, I love it. I love it. The pink, then there's the blood with that green. It's just perfect. So I had to pick it up. And this is by Alice Slater. So, if you have read this, let me know if you liked it. I hope you did. Also, as you guys can see, and I, I love how I'm looking because I know they're there. So, really see that I don't just have a fairy loot subscription. I also have a book of the month subscription. The month selection we have. I have some questions for you by Rebecca... Makaya? I hope I'm saying that right. Makaya? I have, yeah, yeah, Makaya. Rebecca Makaya. And look at that. I really love that cover. I really love it. So the month box also gives you a bookmark, and I love that they do that as well because, like I said, I'm obsessed with books. I clearly have tons of books. I need tons of bookmarks, you know? So look at this one. Responsibilities are overrated. I just love that. That's just one of those sayings that you tell yourself when you're like, it's time, we need to read. We need to read. What? We don't need to do the dishes, we're just gonna read. Anna Maria and the Fox. Look at that cover, y'all, that's beautiful, by Leanna De La Rosa. Look how pretty that is. I'm really excited, because I know this is a romance and I heard it was really good, so I'm excited to read it. Next, okay, whew. Y'all, my hair, it's like doing some crazy things. Like ever since, you know, I had a baby, I have like, do you see that? I don't know what that is, but you know, um, any moms out there, I'm sure you could relate. My hair just gets crazy sometimes. And and now I have like wispies. I don't know, but let's, let's not worry about that. We also have 
The Last Word by Taylor Adams. Okay, so I've heard people, you know what? I'm just gonna read the blurb. I'm gonna read the blurb because this is actually really, really interesting. I'm kind of nervous about reading it because it kind of sounds scary, but you know, this is, I'm gonna read the blurb. Okay, so after posting a negative book review, a woman living in a remote location begins to wonder if the author is a little touchy or very, very dangerous. Emma Carpenter is living in isolation with her golden retriever, Lackey, house-sitting an old beachfront home on the rainy Washington coast. Her only human contact is with her ignatic elderly neighbor, Deke, and via text with the house owner, Jules. One day she reads a poorly written but gruesome horror novel by the author H.G. Kane and posts a one-star review that drags her into an online argument with none other than the author himself. Soon after, some disturbing incidents start to occur at night. To Emma, this can't just be a coincidence. It was strange enough for this author to bicker with her online about a lousy review. Could he be stalking her too? As Emma digs into Kane's life and work, she learns he had published 16 other novels, similarly sadistic tales of stalking and murder. Who is he? How did he find her? And what else is he capable of? Sounds really good, but also sounds really scary. Because it's about like us like bookish people who leave book reviews i have never personally left a, a like a one star review but now just like this is i think this is going to be good it's going to be kind of scary but i think it's going to be good yeah but let me know your thoughts if you've read any of these books as well i would love to know if you enjoyed them or or if you didn't that was my last package i've had so much fun unboxing everything with y'all like this was really, really fun for me. And I know my husband wouldn't have wanted to sit through all this. So I'm so happy that I was able to share everything with you guys. Thank you all for being here. And if you liked this video, let's be friends. Please like and subscribe so you can see more of my content. I hope you all have an amazing rest of your day. Until next time, bye.